Okay, so we are working on making some raised garden beds. This is our first time doing this. So this is in our backyard. Um, you can see the pool's up there, so this is on the lower part of the yard. Um, so last weekend, my husband, he, um, you know, ripped up some ground here. And then this rock here, uh, he said it is half inch minus limestone, so it packs down really hard. So we just kind of like made a little walkway there. And then over there. Alright, so we have some concrete blocks here that we are just using, you know, to, to raise it up. Um, we got these totes here at Orsland's. Um, Menards and Walmart has some similar, but the ones at Orsland's appeared to be more durable. Anyway, so we got these. They are 27 gallon a piece. Okay, and so our plan is we're going to put um, you know them side by side like that so we'll have that one there and we're gonna do four groups so we'll have one there one here one over there and then one over there and then if this works out pretty good then next year you know if we want to have more then we'll just fill in the empty places but we kind of want to stagger them okay so this is kind of what the the rock here looks like it it just packs down pretty tight Okay, so whenever we get all these together, right now my husband, he's been leveling the spot. He's been adding some more as needed and just been leveling it. So once we um, get all these in place, we're going to take we're going to take this four inch drain pipe. You can see it already has little slits cut all over in it. All right, and we also got this at Orsland's. It was 100 feet for, I don't know, 32 to $40, something like that. But anyway, we're going to take that and cut what we need of it, and it will go into each, into the bottom of each of these. This is going to be, um, I think, what they call like a self-watering garden system. All right, so those hoses are going to go in here. And then we're going to put this fabric on top of it. That's filter fabric on top of it. And then we will add our dirt system. And for our dirt, we have, we're going to mix some miracle Grow garden soil for in-ground use. Topsoil. More topsoil. Here we have some organic humus and manure. Again, we have some Expert Gardener Organics. This is expanding soil. And it says it lasts up to two years. And uh, it expands up to two and a quarter cubic feet. And it is 100% coconut. And I will show you what that looks like. So we bought three of these packages. Um, so this is, you know, how big it is compacted like that. And we already expanded one package. <clears throat> okay, so this is is what it looks like. We've moistened it and had to take the shovel and, you know, kind of pull it apart. So. It gave a pretty, pretty decent amount. Okay, that's that. So we will just mix the garden soil, top soil, humus, manure, and the coconut um, into each of these um, totes, and then we will plant. So we'll see how we will see how this goes. We're building uh, the self-watering. Uh planter boxes and we started off with these heavy duty totes that we bought from uh, Orsland's and we uh, purchased some four inch drain pipe it's got the slits cut in it and uh, what we're going to do is put these in here and uh, we're going to add the, the fabric to it we're going to put fabric on the ends of it to uh, keep the dirt out of it but it's going to allow the water to uh, wick into this and uh, we put a tube in one of them so we could actually fill it up with water initially and after that rainwater should take care of it unless it's a real dry season but uh, these tubes will fill up with water and the the soil will fit 
down in here around the tubes and on the ends and the uh, the water will wick up into the soil or that's what we've heard and uh, we put a drain here so in case we get a great big downpour it won't soak up into here and cause rot or anything on the roots of the plants um, we drilled a hole through here and put this fitting on here we bought that at Orschlands as well and uh, we bought it in the sprayer section we just drilled a hole and put it in here and anchored it down and uh, we're hoping that'll take care of any issues we have. Um, once we get these set in place, we're going to put some uh, ground up coconut in here, then uh, some soil and manure, and top it off with some Miracle Grow potting soil and uh, set them in place on these concrete blocks. And uh, then we're going to uh, build a wooden frame around them just to make it look a little better. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a successful growing season. Okay, so here are our planter boxes, um, the raised beds that I showed you earlier that we were working on. Okay, so all of the lumber that you see on these four, um, that's actually what we took off of our deck last fall. You can see those diagonal pieces. You can see those diagonal markings there. That's where they were crossways on the deck joist. Anyway, we just turned them over because the other side was painted like a brownish red. But anyway, um, I originally thought I would paint these all white, but I kind of like the looks of them as they are. So if I do paint them, it will not be anytime soon because I, I do I, I like I like that look. It looks a little rustic, you know. Anyway, I think it looks real nice. Okay, so. Let's see, we showed you the concrete blocks under them to, to raise them up to the height that they are. Um, we told you these are totes. Um, we showed you that we put in the drain pipe and then cover the drain pipe with the filter fabric. And then this tube, this is PVC, uh, is just a mixture of topsoil, hummus, and or hummus, however you say that, uh, topsoil, hummus, manure, Miracle Grow garden soil, and then the stuff on top, which we need to finish mixing it, is that um, that ex oh that coconut core C O I R. Anyhow, so that's what this is. So we gotta finish mixing it, get our plants planted, and then good to go. Okay, so these little drains here. So my husband, when he put these in here, he made them you know taller, and um, that's where we'll put water in. And I know they're pretty small, but again, we just we, uh, used what we had instead of going and buying more, um, except we had a couple, we were short a couple pieces, so I went and got that other thing. But anyhow, um, so yes, they're small, but it'll work. You know, we can still get water down there, no problem. But he did have these taller, and I put out the suggestion, um, since we have the lids for these, what if he made them a little bit shorter? And, you know, just in case we decided to put the lids on them during the winter for whatever reason, um, you know, to help the soil not break down so fast, maybe, or keep insects from overwintering in it, or I don't know, just just in case we decided to put the lids on for whatever reason. So he thought that was a good idea. Whether we'll put the lids on it or not, who knows, but at least he made these to where the lids do snap on in place, so good to go. All right, so that's what they look like. I think they turned out pretty well. So I am, I'm pretty excited. All right. So that is that. And I will try to do another video um, to let you know how they are working. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching. Okay, so we have begun to plant just a few things. Um, we still have some things in the house that we grew from seed under a grow light. Um, that we have to plant and then there's some more things that we're going to buy um, to plant but where we live um, we still have about two and a half more weeks until our last frost date so um, <laughs> so we can't plant much but we're um, just got started planting some cool weather crops to show you that that these lids that came with the totes that they do snap on so just kind of wanted to show you what that looks like so that is that Okay, so we have been planting a few things so far in these planter boxes. That one there is still empty. Okay, um, 
so here we have planted some lettuce in the back. Um, we have some broccoli, a couple um, Texas super sweet onions. Uh, we just planted this today, so they're a little, you know, you know how they are. They'll be better. Um, some more Texas super sweet onions, some cauliflower and cabbage. We have some more uh, leaf lettuce and more Texas super sweet onions. And then more <laughs> um, Texas super sweet onions. Um, however, we might actually, you know, we just planted these, like my hands are still dirty. Um, actually, we might go ahead and take these out and put them in the circle drive um, instead. That way we can free up these two totes for more food. Anyhow, so I just wanted to, you know, give you a view here of what it looks like now that it has some green in it. So like I said, we just planted these today. Um, okay, so we're also wanting to get um, some caps to go over this, just because. <laughs> and we're thinking about looking into worms um, to get some worms, you know, to move around in here. I don't really think it's really necessary since all this soil mixture is very... Hang on. My daughter just brought me our first worm. So, there we go. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, sorry. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Oh, what I was saying was um, we would, you know, think about getting some worms in here, but we don't know if it's really that necessary or not because all these plants... They're not going to be perennials, of course, um, you know, and all the dirt mixture that's in here is, you know, good fertile stuff already. So it may not be necessary, but that is something that we are thinking about. Did he already go fast? Yep. That worm's already gone. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> it's right there. You want him back? No, here's another. Enough. Where are you getting these at? <laughs> Over by the dandelion. <laughs> My daughter is digging up some dandelion, so that's where she's getting them. <laughs> there, it's moving. Alright, so I think that is that.